Hi, I'm Mark Kinn with Garage Gurus. And uh, today's tech tip, we want to show you how to use a signal generator to validate the uh, wheel speed sensor circuit. I'm working on a 2016 Dodge Journey today, and we're actually going to put a signal, a voltage signal, it's generated by this VCMI module from our new uh, Altel Ultra into the circuit for the ABS module to read. And then we're going to come over here to our scanner and we're actually going to see that signal being generated in the form of mile per hour changes as I change the frequency of it. So let me go ahead and show you the setup on this. It's uh, really pretty simple. So let's step over here and I'll show you where we've hooked up. Now let's go over the connection uh, that I just talked about a minute ago. What I've done is I've taken my signal generator, which just basically has two wires coming out of it. I have a positive, negative. We've just grounded to uh, the underhood ground. And I've taken the positive side, and you can see I've connected into the harness side of the ABS uh, circuit right here. This is the uh, wire that's going back to the ABS module, which is kind of difficult to see, but it's connected to the ABS uh, unit. You can see it back here. Now, if we thought about the conventional methods that we would use to test this circuit, you could see getting to this connection point, getting to the module connection point to do any kind of uh, conventional, conventional voltmeter tests would be difficult. It's kind of a hard spot to get to. What we're going to do is we're actually going to put a signal into the circuit from our generator into that signal wire. And then we're going to use our scanner to actually read what's uh, being generated. All right, we're over at the scanner now, and uh, let me walk you through the setup that I've used to uh, uh, create this signal. So what I'm gonna do is I'll start with measurements first. I'm just gonna click on the tab, and you can see the multiple choices I have. We're gonna pick our waveform generator. And what we wanna do is create a digital square wave. Uh, this is a 12 volt circuit, so we can use uh, 12 volts, shouldn't be a problem. So let me just come down here at the bottom where it says signal, DC volts. I'm going to switch that to square wave. And it's got a little tutorial there that can help you uh, figure out the setup and, and uh, what you need to do. Now, right now, we're not generating any signal because of the, the fact the signal generator isn't running. The little green box with the white arrow in at the top is our uh, pause start button. So we're going to just leave that at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my toolbar at the bottom of the screen. And there's a, a little tab here with looks like two rectangles. Uh, and I'm just going to open that up. And that allows me to dual screen. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here under Maxi Sys because that's my scan tool. Go under Diagnostics. And then I just have to type in the vehicle information. Uh, this is a 20, as I said before, it's a 2016 um, Dodge Journey. So let me go back. Yep, we're in the right one. And uh, we'll let it talk. So we want to come down here to 16, uh, find our Dodge Journey. There it is. And tell it OK. And then it'll open up just like, you know, any other scan tool out there. And it'll ask me to look for codes. I already know there's codes because we obviously we've got the right front wheel speed sensor harness disconnected, so it's set codes. Um, so I'm not going to bother scanning for those right now. What I want to do is get to my data screen so we can pull up a data PID for that right front wheel. All right. So what I want to do is come over here to this little arrow at the center of the screen, go under control unit because I don't want to scan. And we're going to go under chassis. We're going to go under ABS brakes. And then it's going to go ahead and hit my arrow again. And I just want to go to live data and uh, give the scan tool a second here. Notice in my uh, data screen, I've got multiple uh, choices I can make. I'm just going to make this real simple. We're just going to pick one pit of information. That's the right front wheel speed. So I'm going to just select that and go down here to the middle. Uh, box and hit where it says show selected. Same as creating a custom list. Now I have my right front wheel speed sensor circuit up there reading zero mile per hour at the moment. I have my signal generator. 
is not running. So what I'm gonna do is go to the other side of the screen, push the little white arrow there, and notice we're starting to create a signal. So all I need to do now is just change the frequency down here at the bottom. You notice at 20 hertz, I've already at two miles per hour. So let me just give it a little more frequency and we can watch on the scanner as we increase the frequency of the signal that the miles per hour are gonna change. And uh, that's the simulated speed. I need to back that down a little. We're getting a little crazy with it. But uh, you can see that we are simulating what that wheel speed sensor would do. Good way to validate the circuit for us. Let me go ahead and shut this off. You notice it goes back to zero. If I turn it back on, we go back to 35 miles an hour. And uh, obviously you can tell the vehicle's not going 35 miles an hour. But with this test right here, we're able to, as I said before, to validate that that circuit from that ABS connector back to the ABS module is uh, good. It, it, there's good continuity there. It can carry a signal. Uh, there is no problems with that part of the circuit. At this point, uh, I would go on and diagnose the wheel speed sensor side. And if I find any problems there, I can be confident if I replace the wheel speed sensor, it's going to fix the uh, problem with the vehicle. All right. I want to sum up everything that we've done so far. So we've, we've used our signal generator, we've created a signal, we put it into the circuit that goes back to the ABS module. We've used our scanner to validate that that signal is getting to the module and the module's processing it. Uh, you, you could see where that connection point is and where that module is and you know, using conventional methods of, of testing that circuit it could be difficult to say the least. And uh, my goal and hope with this little tech tip was to show you by using a signal generator and your scanner, you can actually get in and test this without having to uh, take everything all apart. Obviously, if we still uh, had a problem, if we had a problem with this vehicle and we validated this part of the circuit, we'd want to now go in and test the actual wheel speed side of the circuit. And if we find a problem there, replace that. Uh, I think I, I'd feel pretty good about the fact that it's going to fix the problem on this vehicle because, uh, like I said, I validated from that connection point back to the module. I'm Mark Kenny with Garage Gurus. For more information about Garage Gurus, check out our website, garagegurus.tech. And for more helpful tech tips like this, check out our YouTube channel. Thanks.